Hello and welcome to another technical video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the 5 megapixel TVI cameras, the H0 and H8 range of cameras and their out of the box resolution setting. Anybody who's connected one of these cameras up to a HUHI recorder and gone into the encoding settings in the past may have noticed that when you do go in there the actual camera resolution is set to 4 megapixel, 25 frames a second. As you can see there, the maximum record resolution is also 4 megapixel as well. It's a perfectly good explanation for this, and that is that the cameras are actually set to 4 megapixel out of the box. Two or three reasons for that. The first is it makes them compatible at the highest possible resolution with the HQHI recorders, which will take a 4 megapixel TVI camera and record it at 4 megapixel light mode. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that the 4 megapixel resolution is real time. As you can see there, we've got a 25, which is 25 frames a second. It's also at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 2560 by 1440, which fits your widescreen 16 by 9 monitor perfectly. So it looks as natural as it can be. So they're the main reasons why you'll find that you, your camera is 4 megapixel out of the box. If you prefer to use the higher resolution, you can do that. All you've got to do is go into the actual camera head menu, which you can do through the PTZ settings. So we click back to live mode and click on the PTZ control. You can generally access the menu through the iris buttons in the top corner. So if we click on the iris button, we can see there we've got our menu and we can also see at the top that our video format is 4M25, 4 megapixel, 25 frames a second. So if we use our left and right arrow buttons, we can move through the resolutions. So we've got various options there, 2 megapixel, 4 megapixel, 30 frames, 25, and then we've got our 5 megapixel resolution there, which you can see is 20, so that's 20 frames a second, so a slight reduction in the frames per second. It's not quite real time, but to be honest, it's very, very difficult to um, differentiate between the two. Obviously, 5 frames difference a second is very hard to pick out the human eye, but it, it, is, it is a slight reduction. The 5 megapixel resolution is also more of a 4b3 aspect ratio rather than a 16b9 so that you conventional sort of 4b3 aspect which when it's displayed on a 16b9 screen will look slightly stretched again you may or may not notice this is an issue but it does happen because the 4b3 has to be pulled slightly to be displayed on a 16b9 widescreen monitor so they're the two sort of disadvantage of using 5 megapixel the main advantage of course is that you get a million extra pixels so more detail in the image so if we leave that set at 5 megapixel 20 frames a second and save that setting camera will initially reboot as we can see here and once the camera's um, back we can go in and have a look at the, the encoding settings and what we've got available to us now so I'll just quickly get rid of the PTZ controls and go into the camera setting again and down to video parameters we can see at the top straight away that we've now got 5 MP20, which is 5 megapixels at 20 frames a second input. And if we click on our resolution setting, we can see at the top there, we've actually got the 5 megapixel resolution available as a recording encoding option, which we can select for both the main continuous stream and also the event stream. So there's a little bit of information there that you may find useful, but also the reasons behind why you find these cameras are set to 4 megapixel out the box and not 5. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.